What's up, everybody? It's me, Bashto, here again. Uh, in a familiar setting, you guys can tell. Um, so, yeah, so you guys know the schedule already. I'm gonna keep saying this until you guys know the schedule. Uh, today is another GG anime, so, yeah. So, like I said, there's never gonna be anything right there. No edits or anything. Uh, anyway, so for today's GG anime, it's gonna be a very popular anime that was popular here in the West, but not so much over in Japan, which is Dead Man Wonderland. So, you guys know, if you guys don't know what the story of Dead Man Wonderland is, it's, um, basically, a little boy gets infected with a blood disease, and he becomes a superhero. But then he gets arrested because he gets convicted of killing all his classmates. And that's just the first episode. So, the thing what I want to say GG about is like it's never explained how they know that Ganta was the one like Ganta had the branch of sin within him like it's never been explained <clears throat> like yeah you could explain it away by saying oh he was the only survivor of his class but it's like that's not a good that's not a good enough explanation because being the only survivor of his class could also mean that he wasn't there or anything like that, you know. But it's just the fact that he was the only person that was there and he survived. And he was the only survivor of the class. So everybody pinned the blame on him for murdering the class and whatnot. That's like, okay, that's understandable because he's the only one that survived and with minimal injuries, according to everybody else. But uh, the the thing is, like, how do they know? Like, how, how did I... I forgot the direct the director of Dead Man Wonderland's name. I forgot his name. Um, but how did the director know that Ganta had the branch of sin within him? He had so much confidence that he actually put him in to the hidden to the hidden location room or for the Dead Man Wonderland for other people with branch of sin. Like Ganta hadn't shown any previous signs of the branch of sin before heading to to Dead Man Wonderland. Like they didn't. They didn't know that he had the branch of sin. Like they just arrested him on the suspicion of that he might have it, because that's honestly all the director wanted. He just wanted to create entertainment for the rich people. So and that's what he did with Dead Man Wonderland. But like, like I keep saying, like it doesn't make sense. Like how they knew he had the branch of sin before he even developed anything indicating that he had the branch of sin. His first indication that he had the branch of sin was around episode three or four when a big chunk of the ceiling of the building was falling and it was falling right over him and Shiro and you know his blood had just shot out and destroyed it um that that was the first instance that I can think of that would trigger like oh he has the branch of sin but like the director guy already knew he was like oh yeah I'm fairly certain he has the branch of sin uh we're gonna go like we'll just wait for him to show that he has the branch of sin but like, like, it just, it doesn't make sense, okay? Like, I've read the manga too, I read up to the point where, uh, where he meets, where he meets Crow, you know, I'm at that point in the manga, and that's, I, I stopped because I have, um, I had other things to do, uh, like, life got in the way, you know? But, uh, I just, it, it just didn't make, it just never made any sense to me, like, why the director was so confident that Ganta had the branch of sin. It, it's just, it's just mind-boggling, because, like, he, yeah, he's, he's a lone survivor, the red man, and he quoted, he's been quoted saying the red man, the red man, the red man, whereas, like, the director knows the red man as the wretched egg, or as us who finished reading the manga, or, like, even watch certain scenes of the anime, actually know who the wretched egg or slash red man is, we all, we, people who watch this anime, you already know who that is, but, um, or read the manga, we already know who the Red Man is, but, like, it just doesn't make sense how they would just assume that just because Ganta, uh, just because Ganta said Red Man, that that would trigger something that, like, oh, he has the branch sin. It's not enough, it's not enough information to go to make an assumption like that. Like, it, it just, it doesn't make sense. That's what I'm getting at. And that's why I get good GG anime. Like seriously, it you can't just make something like that that doesn't make sense, and then try to pawn it off with the rest of the series like that. 
That's why I like these videos. That's why I like making these videos. It's more of a rant topic for me. But, like, it just, you know, GG. It, it, needs, it needs to be explained. It needs to be revisited, at least in an OVA, how, like, how the director knows who's been affected with the branches and what or who hasn't because I know there's only a certain amount of people that survived the initial fall of when the wretched the wretched egg initially exploded and created that huge crater in Tokyo um only a few people were confirmed to have the branch of sin and even then it was only after they had already been like inst institutionalized like in, to be studied as like lab rats or whatnot, it was only after that they had already been like decided. Oh, this person has a branch sin, or like in Crow's case, if you watch the uh, if you watch the OVA, then he obviously showed that he had the branch of sin. Like he flat out showed that he had it. Uh, but it just with Ganta, it was just oh he mentioned the red man slash wretched egg. He mentioned it, so he must have it. That's just flawed logic. So, anyway. That's all for today. Uh, you guys know how this goes. Um, two weeks now should be another uh, Real Talk video. So, that one will be a little bit easier to do than this one. Cause see, what this video what had happened was I was, I, did re I was doing research for which do I prefer instead of GG anime. So, this one just kind of came up a few days ago like around either Tuesday or Wednesday and like because you know, these videos get recorded and uploaded the same day but either Tuesday Tuesday or Wednesday was when uh, I started I did the Dead Man Wonderland rewatch and reread of the manga and whatnot uh, which works out perfectly fine because I was gonna do which do I prefer anyway for this for this one so which do I prefer will be in will be the video after the next video which is uh, a real talk so, I already have the information done for that one, so I just decided, you know what, since I'm already doing it for Dead Man Wonderland, which do I prefer for Dead Man Wonderland, I'll just do a GG anime for Dead Man Wonderland. Then I feel like I should start doing that for the other, for the other videos too, like, one of each, you know. But, yeah, this, it's just been, it's been a time. It's been a time. So, yeah. Um... Uh, this will be Vash Steel signing off, and don't forget, this too will pass.